Masters and Game Mets, what is going on? My name is Tenek127, and welcome back to another video. And um, in today's video, I got something a little bit special, a little bit different for you guys. I um, enjoyed the gameplay in the background. It's some Paladins gameplay. And um, in this gameplay, I'm actually, we do win, but I'm getting freaking, like, destroyed by this Eevee on, on the other team. Like, this Eevee is the best at flanking I've ever seen in my life. Like, I, I kid you guys not. Just watch watch the gameplay. This dude just demolishes me from behind over and over and over again. And I'm not even mad because I got killed a lot. I just thought the gameplay was funny and how good this guy is. So, you know, special shout out to the person playing that Eevee. But, um, what's up, guys? I want to talk today about a little something I, um, I saw yesterday that got uploaded by Paladins that I actually thought was really cool, but apparently a good chunk of the community thinks otherwise like i saw a lot of people excited but i saw a lot of people unexcited too first i want to talk about my impressions on it what i thought and you know what i'm thinking and what i'm wondering about it and then i'm going to talk about like the community at um response and like how i feel and stuff like that so this video may get a bit ranty in a way just so you guys know but um for those who don't know if you've been living under, under a rock um paladins actually just announced a battle royale game mode yesterday they have a battle royale game mode called coming called Five, paladins four, battlegrounds three, now two, um due to the recent controversy with um begin. with fortnite and PUBG, i thought it was funny that paladins you know were just so ballsy and just straight up named it battlegrounds <laughs> like that that made me laugh i'm not even gonna lie but i thought you know the name doesn't bother me i personally don't care i am one of those people that understand you know that genres of games do exist new genres are built all the time like when the whole overwatch thing and paladins thing happened oh they're copying overwatch you know i was that guy that could process no it's another hero shooter and you know the same thing's going on with this so they, they released a short trailer it didn't seem like you know it was really like any gameplay it was more of a cinematic thing but um i can't tell if this is going to be like a separate game download altogether or if it's going to be part of the original paladins game but it looks pretty cool i just don't i'm kind of concerned about how a hero shooter and battle royale combination is going to work especially since you know a lot of these heroes are all made for different things like dps are built for to do more damage healers don't do as much damage they're built to heal and tanks are built to, you know to take damage not deal damage i'm, I'm just curious you know to how how that whole system is going to work i think it's pretty cool over overall i think it's going to be awesome to see like you know a lot of people just jump in the jump in the field as random characters shoot each other up and you know in a battle royale giant map that's um paladin style and especially since you know paladins can be played now in third person or first person i think that's a really really awesome thing i'm just curious you know with like paladin's whole card system you know the the different roles of the classes and everything i'm really curious to see how this is going to work like i really can't i i, I can't even i can't even process it in, in my brain like the concept's cool this could be, you know, one of the most unique um, battle royale kind of things we we got. Yeah, it's the first the first time anyone's built a a hybrid of the two genres. Like that's, you know, Fortnite was something different. You know, they brought building and um and stuff like that into into battle royale. PUBG is, you know, just straight up warfare. Now this is hero shooter battle royale. Like there's there, there's gonna be some crazy ideas coming, and you know, and if um the Paladins developers thought of this. Man, imagine what the next Battle Royale announcement is going to be, you know? Somebody's going to do something nuts. Like, it's, it's honestly cool. I think it's really cool, you know, to see people come up with crazy different ideas that, you know, aren't absolute rip-offs of, you know, previous previous games. And that's another thing i got to respect about them. Now, um, honestly, the, the, the main thing I wanted to talk about today was, like, just the, the community response and the fact that, you know, after all this time, there really is... So many people out there who can't respond, who can't um, just understand that there's a such thing as game genres, and that's honestly starting to just bug me. And like when this when this trailer came out, I was looking at you know I'm I'm a YouTuber, so you know I study a lot of these things. I look at likes and dislike ratios of videos. I check a lot of comments. I reply to comments, you know, and stuff like that. You know, I'm a YouTube junkie when it comes to YouTube, and when I watched the video, the like dislike ratio was literally 1,000 likes to like seven or 800 dislikes. And, you know, there were a lot of positive comments in there, but there were a lot of negative comments that were literally 
the a repeat of the same crap that happened back when um when they announced when when they announced Paladins from the beginning and they were calling it an Overwatch ripoff and people just really couldn't process that hero shooters were becoming a genre if you want to be technical games like you know Unreal Tournament Quake and all those they started hero shooters not not Overwatch if y'all if people want to be technical you know and go that go that route about it but um I just I find that thing really disturbing and the, and the thing that annoys me the most that really just pisses me off when it comes to this kind of thing I want to explain something to you guys and PUBG on Xbox one right now is a perfect example we console players, right? And this is what annoys me about the console community. And that's why I thought it was a good idea for me to make this video. Because you guys know my main focus is console games. We beg for all these ports from PC. We want to see this game come from PC. We want to see that game come from PC. And we sat there and listened to the excuses of the developers of, you know, like... Porting games to console is so much harder. Consoles aren't as powerful. So, you know, it takes a lot more time. They're going to need a lot more work. They're going to be a work in progress, this and that, and blah, blah, blah. You even get big, fat disclaimers on your game screens saying that these games are a work in progress. But us console players, we don't do anything but bash these devs. And we show no kind of appreciation whatsoever when they port a game. And I think that's the stupidest thing. And we're basically just damning ourselves to go back to the way things used to be where PC just got all the, you know, the good battle royales, MOBAs, MMOs and stuff like that. And us console players are just left hanging dry. We're finally in a console era where the devs are getting over that fear of theirs and porting stuff to console. And we show no type of pre appreciation. Like I was saying earlier, PUBG is a prime example. Look at how much hate and flack that the biggest game of 2017 got because, you know, it's in a early preview build, just like other just like other games. You have the option to buy it while it's in early access, or you can wait until all the kinks and stuff are worked out and buy it, you know, when it's that when it's that full launch. And the thing that annoys me the most is like we're given this choice. People make the choice to buy these early, these early titles. And we just complain anyway. Like you're giving a big disclaimer sticker that's on your game every time you boot it up that says, hey, certain things in this game are going to act up because it is still in development. This is a preview build. Please give your feedback on forums at blah, 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 dot com. Make an account here. Da, 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 And you guys know all that fun stuff. And yet we still just kick, scream at the top of our lungs, freak out. And the thing is, like, PUBG on Xbox One, it ain't even that bad. It, oh, God, it, 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 it really isn't. And the thing that makes me, that, that just makes me sad is, you know, it's just brought to the Xbox One now. What it, What about, you know, when it eventually comes to PS4, you know, even if they consider Switch one day or something like that, you know, I couldn't see the game coming on Switch, but I'm just saying, what if it's a possibility, you know, it, it being brought to, you know, more platforms and stuff like that. They're going to go through all that crying, whining, and all that stuff all over again. Guys, developers hear your feedback because, you know, things change in games when, you know, it's bitched about enough like EA is a EA is a prime example with Star Wars Battlefront if we keep criticizing the hell out of these out of these devs for you know bringing these MOBAs and stuff like that in early in early access because guys remember something this is the same way the games are brought to PC when they're brought in early access PC doesn't get any special privileges they have to deal with the bugs issues and stuff like that too they finally give us the blessing that, you know, PC gamers have to be able to, you know, play these games early, get them in test builds and stuff like that. And we cry, whine, and moan about it. I just, when we've been sitting here complaining for the past decade, well, oh, PC has this, but we can't, why can't we get it? Why can't we play it? Blah, 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 blah. Guys, the complaining that we're all doing right now, this is why. I don't know, it just bugs me. Leave your comments in the below. 
But anyway, guys, if y'all enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button for me. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy, Snap127. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next